if you are a network administrator or a cyber security professional or even a sys admin and looking for a large language model which is tailored and specific to this field of sys admin or cyber security then this zysec 7 billion is a good choice in this video i am going to show you how you can get it locally installed and then we will test it out on some domain specific prompts to see how it performs for the purpose of this video i will be using lm studio if you don't know what lm studio is i have done various videos and i'll drop the link in video's description before i show you the installation let me give you a quick overview of this model the zysec 7 billion parameter model is a pivotal innovation for security professionals it leverages the advanced capabilities of hugging face on zephyr model this model is crafted to be an omnipresent cyber security companion offering on-demand expert guidance in cyber security issues plus some of the sysadmin and network security related things Zysec 7 billion is sort of an ever-present digital teammate which is adept at navigating the complexities of security challenges the efficacy of Zysec 7 billion lies in its comprehensive training across numerous cyber security fields and it provides a deep and wide-ranging understanding of the sector Zysec is developed using a direct preference optimization technique that utilizes a varied data set encompassing critical topics such as uh, attack surface threats, cloud security, and even cyber kill chain. It also complies with uh, and deals with a lot of compliance and regulatory frameworks such as CIS controls, FedRAM, PCI, DSS, and ISO IEC. It also deals with practical aspects like cloud secure migration, data exfiltration techniques, and security incident handling. It also covers crucial strategic fields such as security governance, risk management, and security architecture review. The training of Zysec 7 million is quite impressive too. It spans over 30 unique domains, each enriched with thousands of data points delivering unparalleled expertise. This is first open source AI driven cybersecurity model which is out there and I have found out its performance is quite good. It also just transcends the conventional role of a support tool because it redefines organizational security approaches. Its open source nature not only invites community contributions but also enhances its flexibility and transparency in managing vast cyber security data. Zysec 7 billion is instrumental in providing vital actionable insights for strategic decision making and advanced risk management. Now let's go to my LM studio and get it installed. Also I would like to point out that this is backed by this Zysec project and I'll drop the link in video description of this GitHub repo and there is a lot of information about the model and this project on uh, this GitHub repo. Okay. Now, this is the LM Studio which I was talking about. Let me make it a bit bigger so that you'll be able to see it. I'm going to scale it. There you go. Now launch LM Studio and then on the home page, just type Zysec, press enter, and you will see that from Zysec or dash AI, there's a quantized version of it. I already have downloaded the best possible quantization available, which is Q8. Click on this folder icon on the left and you will see that it is already loaded here. Now let's click on these three dots and then here we are going to load the model and then talk with it. Just click in the middle button and load this Zysec V1. Let's wait for it to get loaded. And as you can see that the model is loaded now. Let's try to see the proficiency of this model on different cyber security and network security related areas. And I will also cover the cloud security. Let's first ask it a question around surface threat uh, attack area. So I'm asking it, describe the process for identifying and prioritizing attack surface threats in a hybrid cloud environment. So let's see what the response is. 
It says that identify and map asset and application across both on-prem and cloud environment to identify interconnections, prioritize identified threats. Amazing stuff, I think. Very uh, succinct and very to the point answer. That is good. I think that is a pass. Now let's ask it a question around cloud security. Let me paste the question. So I'm asking it, explain key security challenges and mitigation strategies for managing multi-tenant environment in cloud computing. That looks good because these are the key security challenges like data isolation, access control, resource optimization. And then it is talking about VPC, logical partitioning, over provisioning, regular testing. Sounds good. Let's check something about cyber kill chain. I'm asking it outline a defensive strategy against an APT, which is advanced persistent threat attack, detailing countermeasures at each state of the cyber kill chain. Awesome. I can already tell you that it is spot on. But let's wait for it to finish. Okay, let me scroll up and uh, yeah, let's see. There you go. So these are the whole sort of a strategy steps with uh, first one reconnaissance. And then it is talking about weaponization here, then delivery. And then if you keep coming down, there is this exploitation, installation, and then command and control here. And then it goes on and on and on action on objectives. How cool is that? Amazing stuff. You know, very, very fine answer. Let's ask it a question around CIS control. I'm asking it summarize the top five CIS controls and how they contribute to an organization's cybersecurity posture. Let's see if it is able to do the five ones. Let me scroll up. There you go. So it has listed down all the five ones inventory and control, uh, inventory and control over control of hardware assets software assets and then if i scroll down there is this continuous vocalization limitation and control of network connectivity spot on i think that is perfect in my humble opinion yep i think that is all good controlled use of administrative privileges that is great let's ask it a question specific about fedram and i'm asking it discuss the fedram authorization process for a cloud service offering. Now it is telling us what exactly is FedRAMP and then delving deep into that. Wow, it's a long process. So it, is, it has told us everything which we need to know about this FedRAMP process. There you go. So what is FedRAMP and then it is going on and on about cloud service provider as that once the security assessment is done, and then a joint authorization board jab consisting of a representative. Pretty cool. Yep, all good. Awesome model. Now let's check its PCI DSS um, proficiency. There you go. It is again going in a very, very good way. Let me scroll up a little to show you what it has printed. The scroll bar of LM Studio is bit patchy. Anyway, so it is uh, telling us what exactly this PCI DSS is that e commerce platforms handling cardholder data are subject to this payment card industry. And then it is telling us about all the key requirements of this uh, regulatory compliance and then go, going into it step by step. How cool is that? Let's ask it about the ISO standard, which is 27. 001. Yep, it is aware of it. Awesome stuff. Looks pretty cool to me. And you can see the length and breadth of this. Even LM Studio starred. There you go. So I think it has covered everything which is included in this uh, regulatory requirement, including HIPAA and GDPR and all that stuff. The key steps in obtaining that certification, amazing stuff, very, very nice. 
let's ask it about data exfiltration so i'm asking it identify common data exfiltration techniques yep so web-based exfiltration correct email based yes that is correct file sh sharing service that is correct and now it is hallucinating i'll just stop it maybe regenerate to see what happens now dns protocol abuse file transfer email protocol abuse and then it is once lm studio starts doing this and this is not the fault of the model by the way this is either lm studio or my own system resources or maybe the ca cache of gpu is filled so in that case normally what i do i delete the chat and i reload the model and that clears it up and then i'm going to give it uh, this response uh, this uh, prompt again so let's wait for it to finish if that is cool let me quickly check if everything is all right so i need to make gpu maximum so that the speed would be good let me reload it again and you can see your resource consumption at the top left okay let's try it out again only this time it should that is good it has just summarized it which is pretty good okay Now let me try to ask it a particular question about a specific product like let's say Palo Alto Firewall. So I am saying that describe the process and technologies used by Palo Alto Network's next gen firewall to implement micro segmentation in a cloud environment. And then I'm asking it specifically explain how it applies policies based on user identity and application characteristics. Let's see. There you go, looks pretty cool to me. Yep. So it is talking about next gen firewall. And then it can identify specific application. Correct, correct, correct. Yep. So it looks pretty good. Uh, I was hoping a bit more specific answer, but I think this is okay. Not bad. Because it is telling us how it implements the micro segmentation. And if you are an if you're a uh, Palo Alto expert, please also share your insight what do you think if it is a correct answer or not let me ask it a bit of um, a geographically uh, related security question i'm based in sydney australia so let me see if it is aware of australian government's information security manual so if you can see i'm asking it about australian government's information security manual framework Yep, it is aware of it. It seems, yep, key, key principles are correct. Awesome. Okay, let me ask it a coding question around security. I'm saying, write me a script to identify open ports in my Linux system. Okay. That is good. Can you write a shell script to scan open ports? Okay, so it has given me shell script there. Wow, how cool is that? Amazing stuff. Very, very well done. So that's it, guys. Um, what do you think? I'm very, very impressed by the capabilities of this model really awesome model you know i think one of the best models i have seen so far and uh, its proficiency in security related matter is really really good i'm going to drop the link to this actual zeiss x7 billion model in video's description play around with it let me know your thoughts and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching